What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this video footage here is actually from a little while ago, a few days ago on stream. And again, I appreciate everybody who tunes into my live streams. If you guys are curious, I will be live again today over on Twitch, probably between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. So, of course, if you guys want to tune in, I got a link to that channel down in the description of this video. But you guys know I, I just couldn't handle it. That day when I was recording this footage on stream, I had to rage off. I, I really could because Black Ops 6 is having a very, very, very bad problem right now, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, every single COD game has its fair share of cheaters. And I am not really one to call out people for cheating all the time. You guys know me. I'm not really quick with it. You know, I know a lot of people who will accuse people of cheating just with the, in the blink of an eye. You know what I'm saying? It's very hard for me to blame someone because I just know the massive population of gamers nowadays are just really cracked at games. And, you know, you got to accept that. You really do. People are ridiculously good at playing games. I don't know how certain people get to the levels that they get to, but seriously, it is definitely a skill gap. But sometimes, on the occurrence, I will see cheaters trickle on through. You know, whether it's in a kill cam or anything, I, I, I only blame the most blatant of cheaters. That's the only way. If, if something looks sus, I'm not really going to accuse them of it. You know, I'll say, oh, you know, that's weird. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to say, okay, they got good aim. I will only accuse people if it is the most obvious of obvious BS cheats. Okay? That's the only way. And boy, oh boy, guys. I couldn't believe my eyes while playing Black Ops 6. This is the most cheat-infested Call of Duty game I've ever played in my whole life. Again, you guys know me, okay? So this is coming from someone who... I don't accuse of Battlefield 2042. People are complaining about cheaters all the time. I never really saw them. Model Warfare 3 2023. Vanguard. Black Ops. Like, people will always say everybody's cheating in these games. I never bother. I really don't because I don't see it that much. But I can't believe it. Black Ops 6 is covered in them. So, just so you guys know, in today's gameplay, this isn't anything crazy. It's not like I'm dropping streaks or going insane. But I just want you guys to see this full footage from beginning to end. And just pay close attention to the kill feed, especially when it comes to the user that goes by the name of Spindly Rapier. Whatever, man. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even want to say what I... <laughs> Forget these losers, man. Just pay attention to the kill feed. And then you'll see as I showcase some more kill cams what this individual is actually doing. And it's hilarious, too, because, guys, nine times out of ten, these players are absolute garbage. Like, these guys are some of the worst players you will ever see in your whole life. Movement, trash, you know? General gameplay knowledge, trash. If they didn't have boxes surrounding all the enemies, they probably won't even know spawn rotations. Like, these guys are literally horrible at the game. But man, I, I've never seen it this bad, ladies and gentlemen. Typically, when cheaters come through on any of these games, they at least try to stay a little bit more low-key, right? They, they don't try to just, you know, blatantly abuse cheats unless it's like a free-to-play game or it's, you know, they have easy access back into the title, right? Then they might go ahead and rage hack or some BS because they know they can get another account or they can, they can finesse the system. But in full paid games, you know, you, it, you see it a little bit less. Yes, there's cheaters involved, but you do indeed see it a bit less. But this time around, it, it's, it's wild. I understand that every time a new game drops, it's going to take a little time for the anti-cheat team to, you know, pick things up because, you know, we all know how the anti-cheat goes. You have to let the cheaters in first before you can go ahead and clamp down, right? They, they need to make the cheaters make the first move and then they can act and it, it's going to be a never-ending chase at the end of the day, right? It's always going to be the cheaters trying to overcome what, you know, the anti-cheat's doing and then the anti-cheat having to overcome what the cheater's doing and then the cheater's overcoming again what the anti-cheat does and then, you know, back and forth, back and forth. It's always going to be like that. But I do understand at the beginning of the games, typically it's going to be pretty rough from time to time. But like I said, I've never seen it like this, ever. Every launch of a Call of Duty game, every launch of any game I've ever played, I've never seen so many people blatantly cheating with, with no worries in the world whatsoever. It, it's it's mind-boggling to me. And ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and take a little break here from this current gameplay just to showcase a couple of other clips, like this one right here. This is absurd. Guys, this was literally back to back to back to back matches. I'm not lying to you guys. You can go back and look at the stream if you really want to. The VODs are open to everybody over on Twitch. I have, I, I'm just, I'm blown away. I was truthfully blown away how many cheaters, blatant cheaters, were just consistently in this game, a full paid $70 product. 
This guy is not even trying to hide, hide the idea that he's using aimbot. Like, <laughs> not even close to trying to hide it. This is as blatant as it gets. And the sad part about it is that I would have never noticed if the enemy team didn't say anything about it. So I'm glad the enemy team shouted it out so I could report him because I, I wasn't paying attention. I was just playing the game. We're winning. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we're having to finally, we're getting a good win streak with the Scobies matchmaking. When in reality, they just lobbed us into with the cheaters. Like, th this, is, this is also a part of a bigger problem. But again, we'll discuss that a bit later. How about this last clip right here, guys? Come on now. Th this one was insane as well. These guys, bro, in this game have no, no shame whatsoever when it comes to what they do within Black Ops 6. But like I literally just said, I feel like this has something to do with more than just the anti-cheat, even though the anti-cheat does have to get ragged. I'm coming back to this topic, but it, it really does come down to the matchmaking as well. If the matchmaking didn't hyper-prioritize the skill bracket of every single player within my squad 24-7, I guarantee that this wouldn't be as common as an issue, right? Not even close. If it just threw me in with Anybody out there, you know, as long as it has the best connection and maybe it prioritizes my lobby size, my queue size, then that would be perfect. I guarantee it wouldn't be as many cheaters. But this matchmaking system tries so unbelievably hard to give you the best competition whatsoever. That personally, again, I made a video about this a few days ago where I was saying that when I play as a squad, I always verse more solos. And when I play as a solo, I verse more squads. And I think this single-handedly feeds into the cheating situation and why I'm seeing so many cheaters. Because technically, cheaters don't really play with that many people. They might play with one to two other people, realistically, unless they're really trying to hide it. Then maybe they'll play with their friends and just, you know, stay on the low. But if they are blatant cheaters like they you know they're the type of people who will just gladly show off their cheats they don't care they're usually either playing by themselves or with one other person to maybe carry them or you know whatever whatever the deal is so they're always playing mostly solos at least from my experience every single time i see a cheater they're basically alone and that I play in a full squad all the time, and I'm seeing these blatant cheaters 24-7. Again, it just, one, it shows the matchmaking is garbage because it is indeed prioritizing solos into squad matches, regardless if they're a cheater or not. This is happening to tons of people who are playing legit, right? So it's just showcasing that, yes, the matchmaking is hyper-prioritizing this, but it also showcases that the matchmaking is trying so hard hard to top a six stack of players it's like it does not want you to consistently win games in black ops 6 if your team was having fun like if this was x defiant or battlefield or anything of that sort where you can get a bunch of players on that are you know good at the game and you guys can control a map if you guys are good enough you'll be able to consistently win but this matchmaking system tries so unbelievably hard to make you freaking lose that it says okay a six stack, we need to find some ridiculously OP player. So it finds a solo player that's using cheats that has a ridiculous score and throws them up against the six stack saying that this is a fair competition instead of just maybe trying to find a four stack or a five stack or a six stack. No, it has to find a solo that is ridiculously OP. Ah, man, this matchmaking system is a joke. It's an absolute joke in my personal opinion. But again, let's get back to the anti-cheat though. This is unacceptable, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that this many people can blatantly use cheats within Call of Duty Black Ops 6, a full paid product, is mind-boggling. And if this is what the full paid game is looking like, I can only imagine what's gonna happen when the new version of Warzone is implemented. This is the worst I've ever seen these cheats. And I have to clarify it again. I understand that this is typical for a new game launch, but my God, I don't even see these type of cheaters when it comes to free to play titles, not even close. But ladies and gentlemen, please do me a massive favor. Go down in the comment section and let me know what your experience is down below. Are you running into the same situation that I am? Or, you know, is my situation just me and only me right now? But I have been seeing an abundance of cheaters in my lobbies lately. Maybe I'm shadow banned, maybe I'm not, but I also see a ton of other players as well saying the same exact thing. And not just, once again, you know, people who are a little sus, right? And it's like, oh, his aim is a little sus. It's like, oh, it's weird. No, none of that noise. I'm talking about these people are 110% cheating. They are locking on, looking at me through walls, following me all the way, and then literally not missing a shot to my head. That type of cheating. I have been seeing so many people report this, show footage of this, clips. Like, like I said, I understand it's the beginning, but I've never seen it this bad. And I need to know what you guys think down below. Have you guys seen it this bad before? <laughs> 
Or is this like the peak, the peak of cheating when it comes to Call of Duty? But as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed his video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post here daily at 8 in the morning Eastern time. We post everything between X Define and Black Ops 6 here on this channel, whether it's updates, information, things the developers are discussing, you no know, content drop seasons. Everything gets talked about on this channel. You know, I love 6v6 FPS games. So, of course, if you guys love that stuff too, subscribe and hit that bell. And last but not least, I will be live streaming today over on Twitch. I think today is the last day. No, 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 no. Actually, I think the last day of double XP is Tuesday. But regardless, I'm going to be grinding out some more double XP. You know, grinding through the prestiges and testing out to see if there's any more cheaters. So, if you guys are interested and you want to hang out with me, by all means, find a link to my Twitch channel down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.